Hi, I'm Justin. We're going to talk about relationships today, what it means to connect, have harmony, you know, feel good feelings, and have that tension and contrast and sort of warring with each other and then everything crumbling and falling apart, just like colors. Okay, so this is the color wheel. This is sort of like the OK Cupid list of profiles of color, and they're all arranged together ready to have relationships with each other. Some match, some don't. We're gonna find out why. There's a sort of like different three terminologies we can use to describe relationships between these colors. And that's uh, analogous colors, triadic colors, and complementary colors. And we're gonna cover all those now. So, analogous colors. Analogous colors are colors that sit next to each other on the color wheel. They're all sort of close together. It's like blues and greens sort of have similar qualities where they're cool colors and they're mellow. And uh, the nice thing about when you put those kind of colors next to each other is they're gonna be sort of soothing to the eye. It's not a lot of contrast. It's like the mellow dude at a party who's just sitting on a couch, zoned out, spacey, but you know, he gets along with everybody, man. He is so low drama. That's what you get from analogous colors, it's great. So complementary colors. Complementary colors sit on opposite ends of the color wheel. They're as far apart as they can possibly be. So you get yellow and purple, red and green, and they are just diametrically opposed. But opposites attract. You can create an impact by using that tension between them. You put them next to each other, there's a lot of friction there. They, they're like people who are in a relationship and they're just, they seem like they're gonna simultaneously fight to the death and just be in a passionate relationship for the rest of their lives and it could go either way and that creates a lot of impact. So triadic colors. Triadic colors are evenly spaced apart on the color wheel. It's essentially like in a triangle, just as far apart from each other as the other one. And an example of this would be like the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And the thing about this is it's going to create contrast, like a complementary color, but they're not so far apart that it's going to be as tense as that. It's sort of a splitting the difference between analogous and complementary. And the advantage of this, it's sort of like a love triangle. It's like will they, won't they. It's sort of like a middle ground. It's, it's pretty cool. So when you're thinking about how you're going to use colors together to say something about how you're conveying information, it's important to remember these relationships that we've been talking about. So if you're writing something or putting something together, that you really want to stand out, it's like a shot across the room, complementary colors are going to create the tension that's going to make it pop. And if you want something that's sort of a little more muted, a little bit more mellow, you're trying to have a block of text, convey information, those analogous colors are going to keep it from overwhelming the other stuff you're trying to say. And it's sort of making color work for you, using those relationships to your advantage. Like, sort of like how, you know, you just manipulate something in your favor, colors are there to work for you. It's important to remember how they relate to each other so that you can make them relate to the viewer. Okay, so we've covered color relationships. Next, we're gonna get into color theory. This has been part three, our force common. And please subscribe, follow us, comment, talk about how nice I look today, all those wonderful things. And we're gonna be back soon. And, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take, see, take the stairs like this. Looks like I'm taking the stairs. Does that work? <laughs>